Welcome to Wayne's Weird World. Yes, Gus. You're going to go play with Chase the Chooks? Cheers. Steam bending, steam straightening. Well, in this case, I'm straightening. Because this is a walking stick that I use with my banged up knee. It's a little bit pinched. I'm not too fussed about that one. These are all natural dogwood. And the twist occurs from a vine that grows called Ballardia. And as the dogwood grows, the vine doesn't expand and it digs in. Now, they need to be in there about a half an hour minimum. Why leather? Because you start wearing synthetic nylon gloves with heat and you're risking some severe burns even moving this bit of uh, old uh, old rag can cause some pretty serious burns now they've been in there a while i've had a go with them already now if i was boat building or making furniture, I would uh, have them set up on a jig and they'd be strapped down because they only keep their set as they cool. Ooh, that's getting pretty good. Now, I don't use any sandpaper on these for the most part. Ooh. I think I could be happy with that. Good sharp pocket knife. Then I'm going to wipe them down with, uh, with linseed oil and turps. And I can feel it cooling down even, I can still feel the heat through the gloves, but it's not as intense. I think I'll leave that one. I've got one of these things that's only about that long in the shed. I think I know what I did. I was bending it and it wasn't soft enough from the steam and it broke. All right, we'll leave that one. Let's take out the other one. Next, number two. Oh, 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 oh. Throw that back on, keep the heat, the steam in. Look at how twisty that one is. Oh, that bends nicely. You can feel it. You can feel it good. Now, because these have been in a shed and they're so dry, I'm running the risk of uh, the bark splitting. It looks like it might be lifting right there. But hopefully, they'll be all right. Now the broken one in the shed that's up on the shelf, it's been years since I did that. I have no idea, but I think I probably broke it this way. Would be to, uh, to try and get a piece of uh, brass tubing and uh, make a join to uh, another piece. I also like to laminate the uh, the fancy bits like some of the handles and so forth, like this one, this that split with uh, veneer and pieces of, uh, nah, still bendy, pieces of piano ivory. Let's try this other one. That's not too bad. Oh, 
I asked permission from Gus if he if he would mind if I had all my little uh, shavings from my my whittling on the floor last night when I was working. He didn't mind. So uh, I have to probably get the shot back up. I think I can live with that. I think so. Probably fall down. We'll try this one more time. Actually, I'll put this one here. Because I wouldn't mind straightening that out. Sometimes I put uh, a bit of copper pipe on the end of the timber. When, uh, when I have the size just right. Because it uh, depends upon the ground. If it's uh, polished timber floors and so forth, you don't want banging around with a piece of copper or brass to scar up the wood. So the rubber also prevents it from slipping, or minimizes, I should say. But. Uh, <laughs> but if you're going bush, bush walking, and you're not on hard rocky ground, taking the uh, the rubber cap off, and uh, just using the the metal end, will give you better purchase on the, uh, the stone and if I was back in Minnesota I'd modify the end of it so it was actually a cap with uh, with a metal spike going through the middle of it so uh, using it that's ah, for bendy part using it in the winter on icy surfaces you're not going to be slipping because that's how you do things like this for your hip or your elbow whatever I'm just gonna to have to let these things cook for a while the one I just put in the one that I use most often it's gonna to have to be in there at least a half an hour so I'll say goodbye we'll uh, play around with this later all right cheers Wayne's weird world see you next time